like we have a voltage source of 10.19 and we want something of around 5 volts so we use a potential divider here and here this is variable one so let's with this configuration let's try to measure what we have so here we have the practical circuit so the supply here we can see it's around we can kept at 10 volts and this is the reading of the points which we can see is as green and the white wire so let me quickly switch to the circuit here so this is the ground reference so we'll keep it as it is and we'll take the white wire and then plug it in the source side the blue wire here the blue wire and this red wire is coming for this which is channel 2 and this is set to channel 2 so this is what it's reading it's around 10 volts right now so with this let's try to have the port so this this port and these two points which are actually like this blue this blue one and this red one it's actually coming from this variable one so we have already set it to 1 kilo ohm like this is 10k resistor actually so we have kept it to 1 kilo ohm so let's try to measure here what voltage we are getting so the green wire it's the output so quickly we'll switch the white wire here and plug it at the port at the port's terminal which is the divider part which is this voltage so let's measure what voltage we are getting here 5 volts this was approximately 10 volts and it was around 0 volts so let's come to switch 2 so we want to drive the 5 volt like we want to drive this load of 1k using 5 volts so what we'll do is we'll simply load it so let's try to load that point so so this is the this is the like load of 1k so which is already grounded there so when we load it let's see what happens so here as soon as we plug it the potential the voltage drop there it changes the voltage of node it changes to 3.33 so as soon as we load this so this 5 volt is no more 5 volt it comes to 3.33 volts actually 3.34 it's varying there 3.34 approximately so actually we wanted 5 volts but it's setting to something else so let's try to use this step 3 which we say like we will pass to a buffer what it is right now it's not required but we'll like we'll take that green wire the very same green wire which we plugged here we'll pass it to a circuit and take another wire and plug it there and see what happens so this is buffer circuit so let's see how it what it is so this was the port terminal like this is the port terminal so let's plug it in a circuit called buffer And then we are we are taking one green wire like one yellow wire so that green wire went to their buffer and output is this yellow wire so as soon as we plug this plug to the load so it is as good as equivalence as this so we have 1k 1k and earlier it dipped as soon as we load and but now here we are using buffer so let's try to measure again what is the node voltage appearing here the voltage is almost the same same as the earlier one which is 5 point like 4 5 volts like 5.01 volts 